This is a tape timer. The guts of this is an electronic device that makes a little, tiny little rod poke a certain number of times, either 10 times per second, or the other way of switching it is 40 times a second. You're going to be using it on 40 times a second. We use this to make dots on a piece of paper every tenth or fortieth of a second. Here's how it's put together. A steel plate has a little rod in it, and that just serves to center this circle. And then the rod that moves is in here in the center that's powered by the electronics. When you put the steel plate in, you notice that the rod that's poking is here, not quite where this center bar is. So what the center bar does, like I said, is to hold the piece of carbon paper. So this is a disc of carbon paper, and you put it so that the carbon paper side is facing out toward the metal plate. And then you center this. Screw it in. And then put the rod, the rod pokes at the carbon paper toward the steel plate. So what you want to do is thread a piece of ticker tape in through these guides between the carbon paper and the steel plate. So that when the rod, the reciprocating rod, pokes the carbon paper into the steel plate, it's going to make a mark with the carbon paper on this piece of ticker tape and the steel plate is going to provide a backstop so that the carbon paper is pressed hard into the, into the ticker tape. So it helps to curl it over a little bit. I want to get this over the carbon paper, under the plate, and through. And it would have made more sense to thread it the other way. So we're going to use this ticker apparatus to time a weight dropping onto the floor. First thing you want to do is put some cardboard pad down on the floor so that when the weight hits the floor, it doesn't make a mark. And it also doesn't make a big noise for the people below us. Then we're going to set up the timer. So we want it pretty high because we want this to drop as far as we can, as far as we can, so we want it to have a good long drop. We can thread the tape through the device. Come on, there we go. And then it's good to have this double over once. Then you're going to grab a brass weight. This one's 100 grams, that's a good size for this. And you poke it through the two pieces of tape. And the reason we've got the tape folded over is so that it doesn't tear when we do this. We want to hold the tape so that it drops freely without having, hitting any friction, without binding in the guides. We'll turn it on to 40 hertz, let it get up to speed, then drop. And that wasn't a very good drop. It was starting to get caught up on my hand, so I think I'm going to throw that one away and try it again. Hold this up so that it doesn't bind to anything. 40 hertz. I'll let her rip. I think that one went pretty well. <laughs>